So what is the key to unlocking your fullest potential this year, 2022, right? Begins with you developing the courage and discipline one to say no. Now, you see, today we live in a culture, right? I want to say that we live in a culture that we have often been told to told that what? If you want to achieve more in life, to accomplish more in life, what do you need to do? Guys, you got to do more, right? Because the more you do, what? The more you are likely going to accomplish. But you know what? This actually makes my great total sense. Until uh, we take into consideration this reality. What is this reality? How many agree with me that time at the end of the day, right, is every salesperson limiting factor? Because at the end of the day, right, all are only what, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 52 what, weeks a year. Now, which means to say, right, unless you can make the best use out of the time, right, the limited time that we have, right, sometimes, can I just say this, right, just like what Warren Buffett says, right, uh, success, I believe, right, is 90% what we need to say no to. In fact, right, only 10% what we need to say yes to. See, because very often, right, it is the things that we need to eliminate, that we need to cut down on, right, that's going to free us from the time, right, to achieve more in life. So today, I just want to ask you a question, right, what are some areas of your life that you might need to reevaluate this year? Okay, what are some activities that you might need to cut down on? So that you could possibly make, you know, this year your best year yet. You know, anyone have you ever seen a lion table by the way in action? Ever seen a lion table in action? Have you ever seen this lion table, right? Who is this guy and he's trying to tame this ferocious male lion, which weighs probably about uh, two to three times its size, you know? Have you ever wondered, right, what gives the lion table the ability to subdue a lion? Anybody has any, any idea? Come on, anybody has any idea? Conditioning or okay, good one. Not exactly, not conditioning. By the way, anyone has ever seen, you know, the lion table carrying this weight? You know, it's like, shoot. And then what? Do you think it's the weight that actually caused the lion table to sub subdue the lion? Actually, you know what? Uh, contrary to what most people think, right? It is actually not the weight that allows the lion table to subdue that ferocious new lion. But you know what? It's actually, right? The stool. Now, have you ever seen this lion table in action, right? Where he's carrying a reed on one hand, and the other hand, what is he carrying? This stool, this stool with what? Four legs. Now, anybody want to make a guess, right? What's the significance of this stool here? See, based on the studies, right, they realize the reason why the, tie, the lion, right, is actually so called powerless, right, at the juncture is because the moment the lion sees the stool with four legs, right? Now, I'm sure you've probably watched those Net Joe before, right? Have you seen a proud lion taking down this huge buffalo? Now, why do you think they're able to take down the buffalo? Because usually you see them like, zeroing on one particular target, right? So, because of the focus, right, it allows the lion to take down even the prey much bigger than them. But you know what's the problem is this, you know? The moment the lion sees this stool with many legs, right, all of a sudden it feels what? Like, paralyzed. Because it doesn't know where to what? to launch the attack. See, why today, right, you and I are like lion head comes. Now, there are other times that we can get distracted, right? So we get distracted, we begin to lose focus. Now, uh, you know, achieving success in life is not just about doing things right. It's about doing what? The right things.